Hey, welcome to Newsbreak. My name's Nat. Coming up on the show... Dogs sniff out COVID-19. New restrictions in Melbourne. And a super rare albino wallaby. But before we get into it, feel free to hit subscribe. Dogs, we love them, right? Good girl. Well, scientists say they could actually help us fight COVID-19. A new study's found they're really good at sniffing out the virus, even in people who don't show any symptoms. Kale has more. Compared to humans, dogs' noses are pretty amazing. In fact, their schnozzes are up to 100,000 times more sensitive than ours. Was that you? It's why researchers in the UK want to harness the power of their proboscis to try and sniff out COVID. See, it turns out people with certain diseases produce a certain scent. And with a bit of training, dogs are able to detect this with really high accuracy. So, using more than 3,000 samples of unwashed socks and T-shirts, a total of six puppers have been trained to pick up on the particular pong of coronavirus. It is quite amazing how accurately they can detect the odour of COVID-19 from a small piece of sock worn several months ago. Researchers say the dogs will be really handy to quickly screen large groups of people, like at an airport. Dogs. Is there anything they can't do? Great nose, Suki. High five. If you're in Melbourne, you're going to have to get used to these again for a little while. A bunch of new restrictions have been brought in to try to contain an outbreak of COVID-19. That includes masks inside if you're 12 or over and limits on private and public gatherings. At least nine people in the community have now tested positive to the virus and authorities are racing to track down anyone else who might have been exposed. They've told everyone who's visited these places to get tested and isolate. And some states have closed their borders to anyone who's been at those sites. Now to a subject that's very close to my heart, lunch. Right now, there's a trial going on in Tassie where students at three schools are getting a free cooked lunch provided to them every day. Ivy's one of the students taking part and she's going to give us a breakdown of how it's all going. Check it out. Imagine what mornings would be like if we didn't have to pack a lunchbox every day. Some Tasmanian schools tried that recently in a little experiment by the Canteen Association. Let's unpack the results. Three schools were a part of the trial. Every day for 20 days, up to 120 kids at each school were given lunch, a main course and an accompaniment. The meal was based on lots of fruit and veggies. The Menzies Institute was then asked to see if it worked by interviewing teachers, principals, canteen workers and most importantly us, the kids. Nearly all the parents gave it a thumbs up saying it made life easier. The canteen managers loved it so much they wanted to keep doing it. The teachers said it made kids less silly and that there was less rubbish in the playground. They also said some kids don't get a lunchbox so it was good that they got something to eat every day. As for the kids, they loved it but it was a bit of a blur to the soups, particularly the pumpkin. So now we wait and see which Tasmanian schools will try ditching the lunchbox next. Now, close your eyes and imagine something you really want, but don't have. One day, capybara. One day. Indiana Jones' hat, Harry Potter's glasses, and R2-D2. All things that would be really cool to own, and pretty soon someone will. They're part of a massive auction of movie memorabilia. This is a great opportunity for any collector, especially a collector that is a fan of film, TV, any sort of media like that. There are more than a thousand items up for grabs, including actors' scripts, clapperboards used on set, and a bunch of props and costumes. How about a super rare white wallaby? Nope, you can't have one of those, but this zoo in Russia does now. Her name's Alyssa and she was born with albinism. That's a rare condition that affects the amount of melanin you're able to make and in Alyssa's case has given her a super bright white coat. 
Ah, now, I haven't got one of these and I probably never will. This is a 15 karat purple pink diamond that just sold at auction for $37.6 million. Well, that's all from us today. In the meantime, don't forget you can always hit subscribe. We'll be back again tomorrow. Bye for now.